first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all the polys for this mesh. And I'm going to copy those. I'm going to paste them right back down. While I still have them selected, I'm going to flip the faces. I'm just hitting F on the uh, keypad. And then while I still got them selected, one last thing I'm going to do here is assign another material group to this. And I'm going to call this inside. Uh, I'll leave those selected just because I'm going to delete them eventually and uh, it'll be easier to delete them that way. Um, so the next thing you want to make sure is in your shader tree, you want to drag this material group that was just created, we want to drag that down underneath our gradient so it's getting cut as well as the, the other material group that we've got here. Um, next, we want to take our alpha that we already have in the scene. I'm going to drag that into the inside material group. I'm going to turn off final color. I don't need that right now. And I'm going to go ahead and fire off a render. Now, this is what your alpha should look like, something like this. I mean, this is essentially, this is the cross-section at the cut of your mesh. And we're going to save this image. And I'm going to call this cut face. I'm going to save it as a ping just because I like pings. Close that, and now while I've still got that mesh selected, now remember this is our these are our inside polygons that are flipped inward. Uh, we don't need them anymore. That's all we need them for was to create that alpha, which is going to be used as a stencil. So we can delete. Wow, I don't want to delete that. I want to make sure I'm in here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I want to. Damn you. Uh, I don't want to delete that. I want to delete polys. I don't know how to do that. All right, I'm going to ensure that I'm in this view. Uh, how about this? I'm going to go to material selection mode. Inside material is selected. I'm going to hit Alt 3 to convert that selection to polys. Delete that. OK, now those faces are gone now. You can see from the preview render. Now, since we got rid of those, we don't need this material group anymore either. I'm going to delete that material group. So we're left with cut. Uh, so I'm going to jump into this plane item. And I'm going to assign a new material group to that. We're going to call that, uh, I'll call it cut face. Uh, cut plane, call it whatever you will. That's got the same material properties as the connectors right now, which is just a pretty much pure white. Uh, I'm going to leave it like that for now, just for simplicity's sake. So we got cut plane. Now cut plane, we do not want that under the gradient. We, we want it exactly where it is. In fact, um, Eventually, it's going to go above the base shader. For now, I'm just going to add, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and add an image map to this. I'm going to load cut face. It's currently being mapped through the UVs. We don't want that. Uh, I'm going to go to the locator. I'm going to use front projection. And we've only got one camera, so it'll be assigned to the correct camera. And I'm going to change that effect to stencil. I'm going to invert it. Next, we're almost there. Next thing you got to do here is you're going to drag this material group above the base shader, give it a unique shader. And the sole purpose of that is so that you can turn off cast shadows. You don't want it to cast shadows. Not very apparent from here, but uh, that poly, even though not visible where we've cut it, it will cast shadows into areas where we don't want it to cast. And uh, I think that's it. Should be good. We're going to fire off a render here. Uh, I'm going to see the alpha. I don't care about the alpha. Turn off the alpha, turn them back on your final color. Okay, now try a render. 
and uh, this should be what you're looking for. Now the cool thing here is if I go to my lighting view uh, and I move this around, you'll see just from the preview render you can see there that the lighting is definitely affecting that cut face. Uh, this is one advantage over the, the luminosity trick. Uh, you're getting all the material properties of of the uh, the material group that's assigned to that face. So I can move this in and out. That's what she said. And uh, I can render this. Bingo bongo. If you have any questions, uh, hit me up in the forums.